Hello, and welcome to today's video making tutorial. Today's tutorial is How to get the best out of your animated GIFs on Toonly. I am sure nobody really cares what a GIF is technically. Or even, if it's properly pronounced, GIF or GIF. What you're probably really after, is how to use them effectively in Toonly. Firstly though. Why use animated GIFs in Toonly? Animated GIFs are useful to complement the many characters, backgrounds, scenes and objects Toonly already has. They help you add little unique touches so you can really tell your story. It would be impossible for an application to have every kind of everything including people, places, actions, and objects etc. The addition of animated GIFs, PNG and JPEG files can really enhance your user experience and your end result. They turn your small get-together into a party. Also, please to note things are always changing. The information in this video is accurate at the time of recording and the functions in the software may change in the future. Now let's begin with our tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your animated GIFs on Toonly. What is covered in this tutorial? Firstly, we will look at choosing and sourcing GIFs for your Toonly projects. Then, we will look at what we can use animated GIFs for and importing them into Toonly. Then we will look at resizing, timing and moving the GIFs around the canvas. Bonus! There is a free assets pack available in the Facebook group files section to download if you want to follow along with the tutorial. Please find a link in the description below to the Facebook group. Also, we are giving away a package of over 450 video and graphic assets, with commercial rights, every month, for our Facebook group members, so you can pick that up while you are there. Section 1. Use good quality GIFs, you can add high quality GIFs in Toonly and, get a reasonable result. Or, you can opt for lower quality ones, and end up with, something a little less spectacular. You can source animated GIFs from many places, both paid and free. Please see in the description below for both options and also, a package deal, available for a limited time, that comes with 275 high quality GIFs with commercial license for less than the price of one from a single asset purchase website. If you are using your Toonly videos for commercial purposes, it's better to stick to ones for which you own a license. If you're making your Toonly videos for fun, then you can go nuts. Giphy.com is a great place to find them. You can spend hours on there looking through them all and making some really unique videos with them. Section 2 Here are 6 different ways to use your animated GIFs in Toonly. 1. Characters and background characters. 2. Objects and things. 3. Video backgrounds. 4. Animated backgrounds. 5. Transitions and 6 animated borders importing your gifs into toonly whatever you are using your gifs for be it a character object background or transition they all get imported via the objects tab go to the objects tab select upload new object Select your animated GIF. Select Open. Wait for the file to upload. This can take some time depending on your internet connection and the GIF file size. Find your animated GIF in the Objects tab and drag it into the canvas. Then wait for it to load into your project. Again, this may take some time depending on your internet connection. Pro Tip if you are using your GIF as a background to take up the whole canvas. Place a white background first. This will make life a lot easier to resize your animated GIF background into the right position on the canvas.
Section 3. Resizing, timing and moving your objects in Toonly. Resizing. Firstly, you can resize your object by dragging the green box to the size you want. You can also resize the object during the animation, as in, make the object grow or shrink. To do this you need to click on the object then right click on the object marker in the timeline. In the object settings select instant for both the in and out effects and press save. Then, click on the object in the canvas. Back in the object marker in the timeline, click on the diamond shape in the right corner. Then, select the blue box on the image in the canvas and drag to the final size you would like your object to grow or shrink to. Then click on the left diamond shape on the object marker in the timeline. Then, test your object. Timing. If you have already played around with animated GIFs in Toonly, you may have tried to add them to the timeline and stretch the timeline marker, only to find the timing of the GIF slows right down. This is because GIFs work in frames per second. So essentially, you are increasing the time of each frame of the GIF animation when you stretch it, and it this will give the appearance of them moving slower, because there isn't any frames being added for the extra movement. However, we can get around this and even use it to our advantage. Let's see how we can slow down, play at normal speed and even speed up our animated GIFs. Slowing down. If you want the object to have slow speed, then as previously mentioned stretch the object marker on the timeline. Normal speed. If you want to keep them at normal speed the way around this is to add several GIFs to the timeline and then let them play one after the other to give the illusion that they are going for longer. Fast speed. If you want your GIFs to have faster timing, you need to repeat what we did for achieving normal speed and then reduce the object marker size for each one in the timeline and then place them one after another. Pro tip. Drag and resize all the GIFs you will need in the same position on the timeline first. This way you can see the sizing is all the same so it will remain consistent in the scene. Once they are all the same size and in the same position, then you can drag them out across the timeline. Says he babe. Take a walk on the wild side. Moving objects around the scene. In the previous part of the tutorial, we looked the timing of a stationary object. Now we will look at getting your objects to move across the canvas and get some action into your scene. Start by dragging your object into the canvas. Resize and change the bounce entrance and exit to instant. Then, drag your object to the starting position. Then, similar to making the object grow and shrink, select the diamond shape on the right side of the object marker. Then, return to the canvas and drag your object to where you would like it to end up. Then, select the left side diamond in the object marker. Then, test your object. Pro tip. Also, like the timing adjustments from previous you can experiment with the length of the object marker in the timeline to slow down and speed up the action of the object as it moves across the scene. And, if you want to get really clever, you can move two or more objects at the same time. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. We welcome your feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And join the I Love Creating Videos and Animations with Apps Facebook group. And pick up your free tutorial and monthly assets packages. The link is in the description below. And as always, have a great day.